Is the microchip shortage finally over? Huge update for the automobile world. So if you're an automobile enthusiast, you're gonna wanna hear me out because I finally have some good news for y'all. So howdy, I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, here to give you really the, the lowdown on what's going on with the microchip shortage. So we have excellent news from Ford, a great indicator of what is to come. Good news across pretty much all automobile manufacturers. You don't have to be a Ford fan, but I'm telling you, if you are a Ford fan, you're gonna be real happy to hear this because the microchip shortage is getting better. And this is gonna mean positive news upcoming for the Ford Maverick, Ford Bronco, future 2024 Mustang, 2024 Ford Ranger, and your 2023 Ford F-150. So this direct news from Ford is actually very positive and it relates directly to the F-150, but this is gonna spill over into the other models. Because, well, here you go, folks. Let's put the pedal to the metal and get right down to this really huge positive news and how this is gonna actually affect inventory. So let's get right to it. Now, the microchip shortage is definitely getting better on the F-150. That's the 2023 model. Ford has announced to dealers to let their customers know that you're not gonna have to worry anymore about not having the heated steering wheel. So my F-150 2023 F-150 Lightning doesn't currently have the heated steering wheel. So I've got news for you. If you're missing things on your current F-150, Explorer, Bronco, Maverick, in regards to this, so this is a really strong indicator that things are getting better because Ford is saying as of January 30th, 2023, all F-150s will be equipped with the heated steering wheel if they are meant to be equipped with the heated steering wheel, if they're loaded enough. And they're also announcing that no 2023 F-150s have been created without heated side view mirrors. So if you had gone ahead and ordered an F-150 and you had clicked option, order option 76X or 76W, great news, you don't have to worry. All F-2023 F-150s are getting built with the side view mirrors that are heated for the models that come equipped with this. So if you've got an XL102A on order, do keep in mind that you need an XLT to have the heated side view mirrors. Very useful in the northern climates. Now, my 2023 F-150 Lightning got built November 2022, so guess what? I do not have a heated steering wheel, but this is good news because that means if your F-150 was not built with the heated steering wheel, they've got enough microchips. They've found a solution, so we're going to get our retrofit, you know, get our heated steering wheel. We're going to get those working. Definitely before next winter is what I would highly, highly speculate. And this is, you know, educated speculation. And that's what I, we do here at Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. We are here to help talk about your specific manufacturer news, mostly Ford, but we also talk about major automobile news because this is a great indicator that across the entire automobile market, we're going to start seeing more inventory. Now, we talk about this and we'll continue to talk about how this will affect pricing, but we can definitely expect if there's more microchips for F-150s so that they no longer have to build these F-150s as of January 30th, 2023 without heated steering wheels, that means soon we're probably going to start getting better news, for example, about future Bronco production, that they will come with the subwoofer. That's probably a next step. Now, for the F-150, uh, Ford is saying that this good news is actually occurring three months earlier than expected because of a lot of hard work and finding solutions probably means finding other suppliers to get this job done. Rem remember, automobile manufacturers put vehicles together. They have hundreds and th or thousands of suppliers that bring all those parts in and the manufacturer puts the vehicle together. So if Ford, it's going better for Ford in regards to the heated steering wheel in F-150 and they're three months ahead of schedule for that, well, you can start thinking that, you know, your Ford Explorer, your Expedition, your Ford Bronco and future 2024 
Ford Mustang, 2024 Ford Ranger, which I'm really excited about. We can expect those to probably actually be completed with all their intended parts. So great news. This does mean that across all manufacturers, sometime in 2023, probably within the next three to six months, the microchip shortage is really going to have been mostly a one and done and one well it lasted more than one year so let's call it a two or three and done but the microchip shortage is slowly coming to an end which does mean there'll be extra inventory but right now what you do see in pretty much most manufacturers uh, lots the dealer lots those are vehicles for the most part that were ordered months ago and in some cases years ago if you've been waiting on a toyota rav4 prime that's the plug-in toyota you know what I'm talking about. So those clients are waiting for years for the Toyota RAV4 Prime. So across the automobile market, finally, customers are going to get the vehicles they ordered. And then we're gonna have to you know, stay tuned, do subscribe, hit the bell notification, because I'll keep you updated on the story, because right now, pretty, mo pretty much mostly what you'll see on YouTube is people saying that dealers have you know 66 percent more inventory so expect thousands in rebates now for the used market yes dealer lots are mostly full and crisis smart dealers have reduced their prices by thousands of dollars and well for 2023 is forecast there's a forecast going on and you know many companies are forecasting this information but prices are expected to continue to drop in the used market. So if you're thinking about selling your vehicle maybe in four months from now, you're probably better off selling it in the next month or two. But do keep in mind, traditionally in the northern market, prices have historically been very weak throughout the winter months. All we require really is interest rates to go down and we'd have a normal spring and a lot of the used market would, well, get bought up. But so far, that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. If it doesn't happen, well, prices will continue to fall. But do remember they're at absolute historic highs. So a little bit of a, a fall um, is just healthy at the moment. And hopefully we will see lower interest rates sooner as opposed to later, but it could take a year or two before we actually start seeing those lower interest rates. But right now, historically in the winter months, that is when you have the least amount of sales so you have the most amount of vehicles on dealer lots. And don't buy from a dealer that, you know, look, compare. Don't buy from a dealer that's asking thousands of dollars more for the same model and, you know, you're considering it just because it's the right color. Do look around, do make sure price average, make sure you're getting the vehicle for uh, the new price, what would be today's price. So for the used market, yes, prices have gone down. They're probably gonna to continue to go down. But in the new market, I don't expect prices to go down by thousands of dollars because we're still just trying to get people's orders to them. People have waited for months. So it'll take still several months for there to actually be available, a lot of available, viable inventory on dealers lots and yes dealers are paying higher interest rates and with them paying higher interest rates it might mean you could maybe get a bit well you're going to get a lot better deal than you would have six months or a year ago because dealers what you're going to see prices are going to come down in the sense that over msrp it's going to come down and you'll be buying at msrp and maybe they'll even be willing to throw in a present or two, a little, a little present to encourage you to buy, but dealers aren't desperate when it comes to new sales. New, you know, their lots are not filled yet with new vehicles that have been sitting around for months. They get shipments of new vehicles, they sit on the lot until the person that ordered them comes and picks it up. That's the huge majority of the vehicles that are actually on lots They've got somebody's name on it. Now we'll see what plays out in the next few months, but we will definitely see manufacturers delivering in 2023, far more vehicles than they're delivering to their dealers in 2022. And this means that finally, instead of MSRP consistently going up because 2022, across, the, across all manufacturers, 
overall, there's a big price increase. Of course, inflation went up, the cost of manufacturing these vehicles went up, but we had historic increases in those prices on the new vehicles. And probably what we're gonna get to see in 2023 is finally those prices are going, you know, that skyrocketing increase is gonna calm down. So you could say the pricing could stagnate, stay similar for a while, which is also very much needed. So if you're looking to buy a vehicle now, it might actually be a good time compared to in 10 months from now, because yes, in 10 months from now, probably the MSRP is gonna be similar or only slightly higher than what it is today, but I do expect interest rates to continue going up. So if you can get a vehicle at MSRP, or a little less because certain manufacturers are throwing rebates at customers or promotional interest rates. Well, if you can get either a promotional interest rate or some rebates in, in the matter of, you know, a few thousand dollars, well, that should probably be a vehicle that you consider buying now, but definitely don't consider buying a vehicle thousands of dollars over MSRP because that is definitely very much quickly coming to an end. The normal of having to pay, you know, five, 10, 15% above the suggested retail price, that is over. <laughs> Game over for any dealer that's still trying to do that. Uh, that period is, it was a, a one or a two and done, you could say. Well, I hope this information has been helpful to you. I do want to get you the best buyer's advice out there. And the best buyer's advice right now isn't absolutely don't buy a vehicle. It's buy a vehicle under the right conditions because, well, if you get the right conditions compared to future conditions, interest rates probably will continue to go up. And MSRPs are finally going to come down to where they should be. And the prices on the new vehicles probably aren't going to increase nearly as much as they did last year. But I don't expect uh, any you know, major rebates and reduction in MSRP. MSRPs are just going to stay similar and stagnate where they are. I hope this information has been helpful. If so, please do hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out. I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, and it has been a pleasure bringing you the news. Until next time, I wish you all more cars and more power. And well, this week, this every Monday I have a live, but for the next two Mondays, we are going to be in Florida, driving from Canada all the way to Florida in a Ford Bronco. So instead of our regular lives, please do follow our journey as we take the Bronco on the beach. And we'll also, of course, be testing what kind of wear do you get when you take winter tires and you drive them in 20, you know, 20, 25, maybe we're really lucky, 27 degree weather. So stay tuned. We'll be long hauling and long testing that Bronco for comfort, handling, and everything you want to hear about it. So bring your questions and we'll work on answering all your Ford Maverick, Ford Bronco, Ford F-150 questions. Until next time, I wish you well.